click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends let us discuss now the concept of creditor turnover ratio every business is required to get raw materials and other things from the suppliers these suppliers they provide facility of credit that means we are required to buy now and pay later after one month or two month every business gets this facility of enjoying credit period and this is the one of the requirement of every business because that helps to raise required amount of working capital now whether the creditors will be extending credit or not it becomes their choice so they check creditor turnover ratio of the company while providing credit facilities to the business so this is the importance of creditor turnover ratio how it is calculated what is its relevance what are its components that we'll understand now creditor turnover ratio shows the relationship between net credits purchases and the average trade creditors this ratio is normally expressed as a rate formula of creditor turnover ratio credit purchases divided by accounts payable here accounts payable means creditors plus bills of exchange accepted for the suppliers creditors velocity that is debt payment period this ratio shows how much time you are taking to make payment to your suppliers it shows average period of making payment credit period enjoyed is equal to 365 days or 12 months divided by creditors turnover components credit purchases gross credit purchases less purchase returns if details of credit purchases are not available cost of goods sold amount is used creditors may be taken at the average of opening plus closing amount that is opening creditors plus closing creditors divided by 2 if the details are not available only closing balances may be considered functions and purpose creditors turnover ratio is a turnover ratio which shows the relationship between credit purchases and creditors its purpose is to calculate the speed with which creditors are paid off on average during the year calculate the creditors velocity to indicate the period taken by average creditors to be paid off and judge how efficiently the creditors are managed it shows organizations policy to manage suppliers by making their timely payments as per the credit period available actual ratio interpretation and comments actual ratio actual creditors turn ratio of x indicates that creditors are being turned over x time during the over during the year For example creditors turnover ratio of 4 indicates that creditors are being turned over four times during the year it indicates the number of rounds taken by the credit cycle of payables during the year it helps to work out the debt payment period that is creditors velocity if the creditors turnover ratio is 4 the debt payment period is 3 months that is 12 months divided by creditors turnover ratio 12 months divided by 4 that is 3 months this indicate that it takes 3 months on an average for the creditors to be paid off creditors velocity shows the duration of the credit cycle of payables which in turn is a part of operating cycle of the concern actual ratio close to standard there is no standard creditors turnover ratio in absolute terms each concern has to determine its own standard ratio based on its own past ratio ratio of other concerns in the same industry the average for the entire industry 
a creditor's turnover ratio close to such company standard shows efficient management of payables. Actual ratio higher than the standard. A creditor's turnover ratio higher than the concern standards ratio shows low credit period enjoyed by the concern. It indicates that creditors are being settled at fast speed during the year. Debt payment period is less. Amount of credit given by creditors is less. So more funds are blocked in working capital. If actual ratio is lower than the standard, a creditor's turnover ratio lower than the concern standard ratio shows long credit period enjoyed by the concern. It indicates that creditors are being settled at a slow speed during the year. Debt payment period is more. Amount of credit given by creditors is more. So lesser funds are blocked in working capital. Now let us discuss interaction of creditors turnover ratio with other ratios. This ratio should be studied along with the two turnover ratios that is stock turnover ratio and debtors turnover. The combined effect of turnover ratio shows the duration of operation cycle. For example, stock holding period is two months plus debtors collection period is one month less creditors payment period is two months. So net period will be what 3 minus 2 that is one month a short net period indicates fast operating cycle requiring less working capital and hence strong liquidity and vice versa. We shall understand this ratio with small example from the following information calculate the credit period enjoyed by the firm net credit purchases 1 lakh creditors 20,000 bills payable 5,000. In this question, we have net credit purchases rupees 1 lakh, creditors 20,000 and bills payable 5,000. Creditors turnover ratio credit purchases divided by creditors plus bills payable credit purchases 1 lakh divided by creditors 20,000 bills payable 5,000 that is total 25,000 1 lakh divided by 25,000 we are getting creditors turnover ratio four times we can calculate average payment period Creditors payment period or it is also called as creditors velocity formula is 12 months divided by creditors turnover ratio 12 divided by 4 it comes to 3 months. It indicates that company is making payment to its suppliers on an average within a period of 3 months. In this video we have understood how to calculate creditors turnover ratio and creditors velocity thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida thank you